You know, my number one rule for managing your information and processes is to aggregate and structure it all within master collections in a database app like Notion, Softer, or Airtable, or at least a spreadsheet app like Google Sheets or Excel. That's the foundation of my Bulletproof framework because within this structured, cohesive, interconnected system, your information is infinitely more usable. You can view it in different layouts and helpful contexts, configure automations, integrate with other apps, and increasingly you can leverage AI. Google Sheets and Excel have their new AI and Copilot functions. In Software and Airtable, you can set fields to populate automatically based on a text prompt. And Notion's AI can populate content and even build databases. So I'm going to show you two of the most powerful ways you can leverage these new AI capabilities. We'll look at the same example in two different apps. The first will be Softer, which has always been the best way to build web apps and interfaces from your databases and spreadsheets in other apps. But more recently, Softer released its own databases and automated workflows that really put it in the same class as today's top productivity and collaboration apps, while retaining that essential ability to build robust apps and interfaces for your information. And then we'll see it in Notion, which really pioneered these all-in-one workspace apps and really continues to be a vanguard of the productivity space. And for you to dissect as you learn and build on, you can access both examples as a template bundle on Productivity Nexus. I'll link to that in the video description along with the Bulletproof framework. In our example, we're going to be an AI and automation consultancy that helps boutique hotels streamline their operations. So in both Softer and Notion, we have a view of our organization's database that displays boutique hotels in Miami as prospective clients. And given only the website, the AI in both apps is going to find and populate all the additional information about each hotel and generate a personalized outreach message. So jumping into Softer, which you can join for free if you haven't already, we'll be working within the Databases feature where I have this sample Organizations database. The organization name and website are standard text and URL properties, and the rest are going to be automated. So for any property within its configuration, Softer allows you to choose the AI tab and toggle Allow AI to autofill this field. And when you do that, you can choose whether to allow manual edits to what the AI generates. Then you can choose a model from OpenAI or Anthropic. And then you'll compose a text prompt that tells the AI what to generate in the property. And typically you'll want to reference other properties which you can include in the prompt using this at icon. And what's incredibly useful and available in few of these apps is the ability of the AI to reference and retrieve information from the web. So you can instruct the AI to do that in the prompt and then enable the capability here. And then you'll specify the conditions that will trigger the AI to generate or regenerate content. So for this property, the AI finds and adds the full location of the respective hotel. And the prompt is methodically composed using best practices for prompt engineering, including specifying the specific output format. And of course, all of these prompts will be bundled with the templates that you can grab from Productivity Nexus. And then I've configured this AI to execute each time the website property is updated. And because it follows a consistent formatting structure, these city, state, and neighborhood properties can be formulas that parse it. And then we have three more AI-generated properties, all with optimized prompts and triggered when the website property is updated. UVP is the unique value proposition or that distinctive feature of the hotel, and it's formatted to be injected into the personalized message. And then the full contact information field finds the best contact for technology or operations and populates their full name, first name, job title, and email address, which are then parsed by these formulas. And then we have the recent article that we want to mention in the personalized email, and these formula properties parse the publication and URL. So all of that information is automatically pulled and parsed and then applied to our personalized message template. Hi, Zachary. I loved your recent coverage in The Adventurist. How cool that you have an in-house local art gallery. I recently published an article in Boutique Hotelier on AI and automation opportunities specifically for hotels like yours. 
We've helped over 50 hotels, including Heights House, implement those strategies to save an average of 30 staff hours weekly and $100,000 annually. Would you be open to a brief call next week to discuss how we could bring the same benefits to the Betsy Hotel? So let's see it in action. Remember, those AI fields are triggered by changes to the website field. And I also added a filter to run only when the website field is not empty, which is an incredibly useful capability that's unique to Softer. So I can clear a few of the websites and nothing will run. And if I replace them, that triggers the AI fields. So it'll take a little time and I'll speed it up for the video, but it's just a few seconds compared to the tens of minutes it would take a human to aggregate this information manually. And in another upcoming video, I'm going to dive into Softer's automated workflows, which can automatically send these emails and even find and add prospects to this collection. So all you have to do is review and approve. And I'll also show you how to use Softer's original and most distinctive feature of creating a robust interface for managing this type of information, like a personalized CRM. And then in Notion, we can achieve the same outcome with a slightly different approach. Notion supports AI fields, but they can't search the web. But the primary Notion AI chatbot can access the web and then update the properties. So here we have standard properties that you'd create as if you were going to manage them yourself. And the only formula property is the personalized message. And there's also a property called autofill status that we can set to triggered for the items we want Notion AI to auto-populate. So the way this works is I have a pre-composed prompt saved as a snippet. And for managing snippets, I use Raycast, but you can use any snippet saver or clipboard manager you prefer. So each time I want to run the autofill, I simply invoke the snippet in Notion AI. And it takes about the same amount of time as Softer, and then once the properties are filled, we have our personalized message. And you'll also notice that the autofill status property is now drafted by AI. That's part of the prompt. So after making any tweaks manually, we can update the status to final. And for Notion, I actually already have a video on automations, which covers how to send emails automatically. I'll link to that from this video's description so you can see how easy it is to have the email send automatically when you update the status. Grab these examples from Productivity Nexus so you can see the intricacies of the configuration and apply these concepts throughout your knowledge management system to save tons of time and really supercharge your performance.